What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is week eight of the GBA season four. We are rematching our division rivals, the Milwaukee Sawsbucks, and they have had a really good run these last few games. They picked up their first two wins, so it's not the worst season for Magnitude, and he is out for blood. He's made some big changes to his roster with free agency and a trade with me, and uh, I'm going to... Uh, you guys probably saw the video last time, but I'm bringing the exact same team, so we're going to hit accept and see what he's done here. Okay, he's bringing Lucario and uh, Ferrothorn, both of which are Pokemon that I predicted he would bring. So, he brought Muck, which I did not predict, but this is good because it means Latios and Electros aren't here. So, I'm a fan of that. Um, potential lead options here are... Um, Landorus is a, is a good lead option... Uh, just because of the momentum grabbing ability, it might give me a chance to scout what item he is. We've got Ferrothorn here. Ferrothorn is just, you know, he can set up spikes. No Arcanine, which is good. That's why I'm glad I didn't end up going with the rain today. Still got the Suicune, so that's uh, potentially a problem. I gotta hold on to Remix and uh, try and get Bunny Sword to do some work. Uh, looking at this, um, just by the nature of his likely leads, I think the best option for me is Ditto, because if he's leading with uh, Landorus and he packs Hidden Power, I'll be able to scout that immediately and I'll be able to get off that immediate U-turn. So we're going to ignore Spectators here, and uh, I'm going to choose Remix, and we're going to see what happens. And he leads with Muck, that's interesting, so we're going to see right off the bat. Um, So let's, uh, let's look at his attacks. We've got Shadow Sneak, Gunk Shot, Ice Punch, and Fire Punch. And you know, I did not do any Muck versus Muck calcs. To be perfectly honest, I did not predict Muck is coming. Uh, a lot of my Pokemon handle him quite nicely. Uh, he doesn't have any sort of setup, really. He can't poison me, I can't poison him. Uh, but Muck v Muck, like honestly, really did not see that one coming. Muck v Muck. Um, the thing is, is that if he's defensively invested, he will win this matchup because he's got a lot more health than me. So, uh, safe switch ins to Muck. Uh, unfortunately, Scissor isn't because he's packing the Fire Punch. The Ice Punch, Gudra isn't. Um, so, really, I might just have to kind of trade off some attacks here. The highest damage we can do to each other is Gunk Shot, but only slightly less than that is Fire Punch and Ice Punch. Fire Punch with the chance to burn. So, uh, let's do that, I think. So I go for the Fire Punch, I speed, he goes for the Gunk Shot and lands it. Um, I get a little health back, he gets a little health back. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Fire Punch again here. No. See, this is the problem. This is a, uh... That did a lot more damage than I anticipated it would do, that Gunk Shot. But... Uh, I guess 80 accuracy is something I could gamble with. I don't mind gambling with 80 accuracy. For him, killing Remix would be a big deal. He might go for the Fire Punch here, predicting the switch. No one really wants to take anything from this guy. Uh, I'm okay with just going for more attacks here. Let's go for the Gunk Shot on him. He goes for the Gunk Shot again and misses. I go for the Gunk Shot and hit and crit. Wow! Hacks are on my side today, boys and girls. Really are on my side. Now, how much damage would a bullet punch from Scizor do to this muck? It looks like it would kill it. It really does look like it would kill it. Honestly, if he predicts that switch, that's game over for me entirely. So that miss was a big deal for me. Can we do it? Honestly, that would just be game. If I lost Proto, that would be game. But Remix needs to be healthy for other reasons. Let's go into Proto. He switches out into Suicune. Okay. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Phone's buzzing. You're going on the bed again, phone. Okay. Okay. Suicune's in. What do I do against the Suicune, guys? Bunny Soar, two chains, both can kind of do something against him. They both pack something that will hit him really hard. 
Fox can also hit him on his uh, on that other on the other side to sort of put some work on him. Remix can come in if he starts setting up. So let's go. Uh, he can't hurt Bunny Sore. So let's do Bunny Sore here. He goes for the Scald. I resist it. He doesn't get the burn, and I'm back up to almost full health because of the leftovers. So now we can go for the Thunderbolt. He does have the Landorus here. So I could go for the Sludge Bomb. Um, he could also switch into Ferrothorn. But Suicune is a big enough threat that I think Thunderbolt is still the best option for Suicune. My set allows me to outspeed this Suicune also, so I will get the attack off before he starts Calm Minding. But it's just, the switch into Landorus is so likely. What's he really going to do? He's just going to spam Scald until... I mean, he could start setting up on me. That wouldn't be good. I really don't want him to set up on me. But, you know, I have to switch into... Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. He's going to switch into Ferrothorn and take the Ice Beam. It's going to hit him for 25. He could go for a Gyro Ball here. I think I calc the Flamethrower on him. There's no rain. The Flamethrower on Ferrothorn. You know, he's probably going to go for a Protect, actually to scout whether or not I have the flamethrower. I actually really predict he's going to do that. I really predict he's going to go for protect to scout whether or not I have it. So I'm going to go for ice beam again. No, he doesn't protect. He stays in and goes for a thunder wave on me. Shoot. But now I'm going to go for flamethrower. Damn it. Okay, so I made a misprediction there, but it's okay. There we go. So now Ferrothorn is down. That's going to be a huge threat out of the way. I think he predicted that I was either locked in or didn't have it. So that worked out well for me. Mega Gardevoir is here. Now, the sub game is a problem. We've done this. We've played this match over and over again in our heads. What we do know, though, Hyper Voice can't kill me with leftovers. I'm at full health. He might be playing the sub game again, though. But then I could just come in with Ditto. No, because Ditto will likely get outsped. Oh, he pre megged I was telling. Not like it matters, though. Smiley face, and we're going to continue. Bunny Sore. I don't want to lose. Fox is a potential switch in here. 100% agree, buddy. I 100% agree. It does not change the match. Let's type this correctly. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Fox is a good switch in to the Hyper Voice. Um, Fox is scarfed, so I can break the sub and then continue my moves from there. One thing I want to know is whether, well, you know, I'm just going to go for Fox. I'm going to switch into Fox here. Uh, he's going to go for the Hyper Voice, which is resisted. And now that I have speed, I can go right away for that Overheat. Or the U-Turn. So let's see. Um, I am Choice Scarf set. He is Mega Gardevoir. And uh, the U-Turn is... potentially sub-breaking, but he's just going to, I mean, he either switches or he... Let's just go for that overheat. Let's put some real damage on this guy right now. I think he's switching. Fox has another switch into this Mega Gardevoir. He's going to stay in. I'm going to hit him with an overheat and bring him down to 37%. As he's going to go for the side shock and take out Fox. That's okay. What we can do now is go into... Go into Proto and scare him out. Do we still have switch-ins? Because every time Gardevoir hits the field, it is a problem. Every time he hits the field, it's a problem. See, now this is the thing. People are giving me criticism for not predicting enough. Now, I could go into Proto and U-Turn. But if Proto goes down, I actually don't have a way to win this match. Gardevoir, I need Proto for Gardevoir. And there's lots of things here that wall Proto. You know, a switch-in by Landorus walls him. Uh, Suicune, I can't really do much to. 
Muck again, but he's kind of weak. Muck won't wall me at this point. Um, so we go into Proto. We go into Proto, and you know what? I'm pretty sure I don't... I think I just need to Bullet Punch here. And take the fact that Suicune comes in... <sighs> he's got so many switch-ins to a Bullet Punch. And do I have switch-ins to him after that? Gyarados can switch into any of his physical attackers. Uh, namely these two. Um, if I bullet punch, he dies. If it's Suicune, Ditto can switch in, or Bunny Soar can switch in. He could double switch, and that'd be a great play on his part. So I think I have to bullet punch on the off chance. He does end up switching, goes into Landorus Therian. Um, and we're going to see whether or not he's leftovers. He's not leftovers at 34% at minus one. That should just be a standard offensive set. U turn, potentially. I could switch into Remix of my own on that U-turn. I could switch into Gyarados on that U-turn. But I might just want to go... No, you know what? I need to Remix here to see whether or not he has Hidden Power. I gotta see that. So let's go. Remix comes in, gets the transformation, gets the attack drop. He's gonna go for a U-turn there. That's okay. But there is a little bit of an issue here in the fact that that could give him another switch into Gardevoir. Who I now no longer have a safe switch into. Now that Fox is down. He is going to go back into Gardevoir. So who can take an attack from him and outspeed? Um, two changes leftovers. And I believe gets two shot by Hyper Voice. Uh, yes he does. Uh, Gardos. With, he's saving Suicune really well here. And I'm actually... I, I am in a bit of a, a bit of a pickle here. Proto... If he predicts the uh, the switch and goes for a hidden power fire, it will definitely one shot me. Hyper voice won't do much. Hyper voice won't do much at all. Now, it's just a problem. He's definitely he's leaning on this Mega Gardevoir really well, and it's a problem for my team because I don't have any defensive Pokemon to take it. Um, I'm not sure to be honest. I could let Remix go down, but Remix is definitely a safe switch in for me in a lot of circumstances here. What we see is that he does not have hidden power. He's got Grass Knot, which is not going to be useful. U-Turn, Earthquake, and Knock Off. None of those are great for Scizor. So, will he take me out with a hidden... Yeah, he'll almost certainly take me out with uh, 92 HP. 68 special defense. That's not enough for me to survive an attack from this guy. Bunny Sore I need for Suicune. Uh, potentially helpful against other Pokemon too. Gyarados is a potential sweeper. Two Chains is looking to be the least useful here. But he can't take two attacks. So it's just straight up useless for me to make that switch. Unless I double into Proto again. I need Remix to stop Suicune setting up, although Bunny Sore is useful for it also. So let's, uh. Shoot. I think I go down here with Remix. Oof. Okay, here's my thought process. My switch into Proto is obvious to try and save Remix. He could go for the Hidden Power. I could live that and then get a U-Turn off. He goes for the Hidden Power. I live it. Get that U-Turn off and Mega Gardevoir goes down. Yes! Yes! I needed that to happen. I needed that so badly. I needed that so badly. Okay. <sighs> My heart right now. Okay. Lucario could come in um, as a potential option here. Mutt could come in as a potential option here. Proto could come in and U-turn on the Suicune. Trade blows with the... We now know that Landorus does not have hidden power for me. So we could do Proto. And uh, I don't think anyone else... Suicune, we've seen the Scald. Muck, we've seen the Fire Punch. But I'm going to go into Proto here. Uh, we can sort of play this game... Play around this game now with U-turning. Or... Um, we could go for Bullet Punch if it suits us to kill that Muck. Landorus comes in. We've seen that we hit him for 33% earlier uh, when he went for that U-turn. 
So in theory, I could kill him if I just bullet punched twice and he went for earthquakes. Because um, he's not going to kill me with anything he's got. He could go for the knockoff here. And I don't have anyone that wants to take a knockoff. But, I mean, Remix... Remix's job is to either switch in on Suicune or switch in on Landorus. We could double U-turn, but I don't really want to take an Earthquake from this guy just for the sake of taking an Earthquake from this guy, because I can. However, Scizor is a lot less useful now. And this would give me a free switch into someone that counters Landorus. So let's do that just in case he's going to U-turn again. I'm going to U-turn first. I'm actually faster than him. Wow. What? <laughs> I mean, I could have done that math myself uh, when I had Remix in. So let's see. Maybe a knockoff is what he's going for. But, I mean, maybe he's going for a U-turn, to be honest. So let's go in here and get that attack drop on him as he goes for the knockoff and takes out Remix. That's okay. Landers is now there. I can't kill him with a bullet punch. But what Gyarados can come in is really scare this guy off and go for a Dragon Dance. And I think if I set up enough, I might be able to take on that Suicune. So Gyarados comes in here with Landers not being scary for me anymore. And uh, I'm going to go for the Dragon Dance and try and seal this game right now. God, that Mega Gardevoir going down. I needed that. I needed that so badly. I'm glad that I predicted him. <sighs> oh. He had the right move there, because I really was considering going into Scizor. He's going to go straight into Suicune, and um, I'm Life Orb, not Lumberry, which could prove to be problematic. However, another Dragon Dance, and I'm at the same attack I was at earlier anyway. Plus one Earthquakes against this guy um, are not a two-hit KO. So I could just Dragon Dance the Knight away, but he might have an Electric. So why not just go into Bunny Soar? That's the question. It's a safe switch. And then I should have just gone for Earthquake early. The problem is I just don't know. If he's just going to go for Scald Burns, that's one thing. But if he has HP Electric... Oh, it's only going to do like 50%. It's difficult to forego the potential to just completely murder this guy. I really don't want that Scald Burn. Not that he doesn't deserve it, because I got a crit earlier on his muck. But let's try and seal it. Let's see what he goes for here. He has the Scald. Please don't burn. Yes, it doesn't burn. Okay, a plus two Gyarados. It's a potential to two hit KO after Leftover's recovery. So let's hit him with that Earthquake. Wow, that's a crit again! As he goes for another Scald, which I resist, and he doesn't burn against, that might be the game, guys. That might very seriously be the game. How much does Waterfall do? That crit, though, my word. Waterfall does a minimum of 29, so Waterfall might take him out anyway. And that's uh, good if he switches into Landers to try and play some shenanigans here. So he's actually going to sack off the Suicune. Uh, let's see what he brings in here. Lucario could go come in and get an E-Speed off on me. Landers could come in and get the Attack Drop off on me, but he will get outsped and killed. The Muck comes in to try and take anything he can. So let's just Earthquake him to get that kill. He's going to Shadow Sneak. Oh, I see. He's trying to get me... Um, yeah. He's trying to weaken me with Life Orb so that he can priority kill me with Lucario. There's Lucario. So he locks into E-Speed. Or, I mean, I don't know that he's choice, but... This isn't really good moves by him. E-Speed has a chance to kill. Uh, we gotta play this game. We gotta have some fun. Let's go with Earthquake again. He's gonna E-Speed and I'm gonna live. And here we go. We got a mini Gyara sweep here. Uh, at, well, mini sweep. Now Landris is gonna come in against two chains who can Ice Beam. The knockoff will probably kill me, though. So we're in the same GD situation, except that Proto can come in knowing that he doesn't have anything for me afterwards. Bunny Sword can come in, I think I can take an attack from him, maybe not, and just go for the Ice Beam. Who do I want? Let's just bring in Bunny Sword. Go for that Ice Beam here. As he's probably going to go in for an Earthquake, doesn't kill me, and I go for an Ice Beam and take him out. Bunny Sword picks up that last kill, and we pull a 3-0 victory. 
against the Salzbucks, taking that series 2-0 in our favor. And that's great guys, and you know what that does? That puts us as a 500 team. We're still on the chase of Hank. I think, I don't know what happened this week guys. I always go into these battles not knowing anything about my teammates. I really don't wanna know how they did because I don't want that to change my gameplay at all. But that was a really big match. I'm so sorry for the crits. I'm sorry for the lack of Scald Burns. You know, that's Pokemon. I, I hate saying this. I hate when it benefits me being like, well, that's what happens. And then, you know, you get a little salty when it happens against you because I did have some big moments in previous matches where that really changed the outcome also. I guess what I'm trying to say is I've been the recipient of it, I've been the dealer of it. I'm sorry for hacks guys if that's a problem for you, but that happened. I think I played around it great. A couple of big predictions there and unfortunately Magnitude lost his big threats and Steve, you know I still love you man. Thank you so much for waiting till near the end of the week to have this battle with me. Please go check out Magnitude if you haven't already and check out the GBA. Links to both of those are gonna be down below in the annotation. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.